I'm at the Dusseldorf Caravan Saloon 2019. And today I'm going to race through all the caravans I felt stood out to me at the show. This is so different. I've seen it on social media quite a lot, so to actually be able to stand in it and have a look around is pr pretty awesome. It's quite a lot of space. Now I want to see it folded up and towing down the road. Very clever. Storage. Okay, this is something a little bit unique for people who can't decide if they want to live in a boat or a caravan you've now got the option of doing both in one Auf der ganzen Breite und Schränke reichen Ihnen auch Finden Sie nämlich auch ich frage Sie bei den kleinen Polen diese ja auch aber ich wollte eigentlich dann noch eins größer wie den hier meine Frau hat sich ja, <lacht> Is this covered? Fresh. Wow. Look at that space. It kind of feels like a combination tiny house caravan. It feels very different. I quite like these lights. It looks like you can move them around. I don't know if it's a shape mm -hmm. or some of the products. Some of them seem to be more not as common in caravans. So again, this seating area just feels more like a home than a caravan. Chunkier lounge and a really big door entrance lounge <laughs> onto a deck. This is just very different to anything I've seen with a caravan. It's nice, I like it. So I just asked for some more details and apparently it's kind of designed for people who move maybe two or three times a year so very slow travel but yeah what a way to live. It might be hard to get into this Andrea it's called a, an action caravan. I've already noticed the back has such an unusual shape and there's a huge area at the front for all your toys I guess but not big enough for a motorcycle or anything but maybe for bikes maybe. And there are even a couple of airstreams here. Hopefully, hopefully get a spot. I really want to see inside one. So it does have the oven. Yeah. Gas. Nice. A real deep sink. Ah, oh, nice. I hadn't realized there was it was silver inside as well as outside. And I absolutely love these windows here. It's a great feel. Really great. Kind of has a almost feels like a ship. There's three separate windows. Good size door. Nice deep seats. And these lights are kind of cool. Just feel, just 
feels nice. It has a, a certain thing about it. Oh, a separate shower. So this is an Ariba caravan, which I did not realize they they did these types as well. Giant, giant fridge freezer. Yeah, it feels more traditional. Giant windows on the sides of the bed. Going for an island bed. Kind of a combination toilet shower. And then a cool seating area. This is pretty similar to my caravan layout, but a few differences. Yeah, it's quite similar. But I really like that seating arrangement that you uh, and there's no oven, but a huge fridge freezer. Hobby seems to be a very popular brand in Europe. I've seen a lot of hobby caravans in the Netherlands. One, well, yeah, in, in um, Belgium, the Netherlands, and now in Germany, hobby seems to be a very popular brand. This is so wide. We got the shower just there. So much room just walking around this area. I just quite like the look of the exterior of these with that kind of black line running along the side. It's got a little bit of attitude to it. Yeah. Oh wow, separate shower. That was a surprise. I haven't heard of this brand before. It's uh, they've packed in a lot in this space. <laughs> oh, this layout really makes the most of space. This, this layout seems to really pack in everything you kind of need into a small space. I'm really noticing that the European caravans just don't, don't have ovens. They just seem to have the stove top. No oven. Does this have a fridge? You have beds that you don't have to make up, so you've got fixed beds, but you've still got the seating area in this absolutely tiny caravan. I'm still figuring out where is the fridge. <laughs> okay, this one, this one has a fridge, it's got a double fixed bed and tiny little seating area for maybe max three people. It feels really big. A lot of cupboards. <laughs> Again, this is a brand I've, I've never come across before. This one doesn't have a oven, but the other one I just popped in did. Good size counter. Just look at the number of cupboards here. This brand also seems quite popular in the Belgium and German campgrounds and I've, I've spotted this brand. No, it feels nice, it feels really solid. So this, I think this is the layout that Andrew Ditton mentioned where the bed is at the front where it slopes so you're not you're not trying to sit where there's a bit of a slope going on, so 
What do you think? Would you be happy with a bed at the front with a window sloped down? different. So more of a sloping front with a bed at the front. Ah, it's a side door. <laughs> and then, then there's two doors and like lots of lots of ways to get into it. That's different. So it's got two doors and this whole back one opens up and looks like you can have a motorcycle on or something driving off the back. This is nice. I like that colour. Oh yeah. Good size fridge. Really good size. Again, no oven. Looks like plenty of storage. And my similar layout. But that, interestingly enough, there's a, a window at the back. So no, no backrest, no, no sitting in bed with a cup of tea. Oh, that looks nice. Again, it's swapped around, so the seating is at the the back of the caravan. How big is this? So this caravan is so long. Huge lengths to it. I wonder what it's like towing. <laughs> I can nearly stand up straight. <laughs> oh, here. If I stand here, I can stand up perfectly straight. That's an interesting shape. It's kind of designed so you can stand here, I guess. And that must change from a seating area into a bedroom, and the kind of kitchenette's quite a good idea. Oh, I like. I feel like they're. Are they American? Like, where are they from? I feel like they're quite popular in America at the moment though. So this manages to fit in a lot. <laughs> Cleverly done. That's different. A drop down bed in a caravan. First I've come across that. Really novel. I wonder what the layout of the other one is. Ich bin gleich hier raus. Uh, English? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going. You're you going? can, you can I inside. Can go in? Okay, yes. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one has an oven. Combination toilet shower. And there's the hidden. This is so fun. Really tucked away. Yeah. <laughs> Kids can have their own room. So it seems to be a very unusual product for them. Different shape, back, different feel. It's uh, all the. There's no shower, all the uh, cupboards are very flat and all kind of one level and it looks quite basic in parts. I don't know, it's, a, it's an unusual one. What do you think of it? So this is my second visit to see this caravan. Yesterday I came and it was way too busy, there was not a chance I'd be able to have a look. So this, this one's different because you can get an add-on, a pop-top add-on and have a 
extra people sleeping on the roof which is just how different is that it's the first time I've ever seen that in a caravan I have to say So this is a little bit different. It's a pop top, but the sides are solid. Looks like instead of, well, I'm used to seeing ones, the Australian versions where it's all fabric, but it looks like you take out this bolt and you pull this inwards and it all folds in nicely. You can just fold the door down and yeah, it looks like this folds down too. That's nicely done looks like a two berth so but the seating area is huge so I imagine the back part can become a bed but you've still got a seating area for if you're feeling lazy which is different you could seriously just lie in bed and watch the stars that is so different completely open I like the burst of colour, that is different. It has a kind of a handcrafted feel, but I think that's how I would describe it. And then the differences, you've got, it sounds like you've got a couple of layout variations. You've got this one with the outside kitchen, and then apparently there is one with an inside kitchen too. And then this is their smaller caravan. I really like the exterior of it. It's got, I don't know, that silver and the shape. It's just very different from all the other caravans. And so that's quite a list. Okay, what was your favorite? What one stood out to you? 